Hello. Happy Friday. Um, okay. I was going to make a smoothie today. Well, I'm planning to make a smoothie. And maybe you could join me. And in the process, I could tell you about my personal beliefs and my own personal take and my very logical theory and thought about Jesus' inconvenient truth and Christmas sacrifice and miracle and his Easter sacrifice and miracle and resurrection and the how the spores of hell and earth combined spewed out the week of my birthday from, I guess you could say Palm, the day before Palm Sunday, Palm Saturday, if you want to, all the way to my birthday um, <laughs> when I fell off a ride. So um, I guess I have a couple of things to talk about. And I'm sure when I try to bring this laptop over to my smoothie mix with my blender that I got from Walmart for $17, and I think I'm hoping it's not the motor that I smell because um, I've only had it for about a month. And I was going to make a smoothie with some maca powder, morning gut powder, and like fruit. Okay, so let's see how that will work out. And yeah. Oh, maybe I'll shove this here then. Oh, yeah, there it is. Hello. Okay. Yep, yeah, I have my um my lipstick is messing up. My smoothie. And this what is this thing? Wasn't that interesting? Huh. It looks kind of really blue and glowing blue outside, even though it's like almost seven and it's gray and dreary and I thought it was going to be storming. Nonetheless, let me make my smoothie with lots of noise. <laughs> and here is my maca powder that's probably in um, mirror reverse opposite it. So it says Maca Ex Mac Extreme, Raw Organic, Maca Extreme. But I think it's backwards, so what's the point? But, you know, nonetheless. And it says put a half a teaspoon in there. I got it from the Healthy, you know, the Honest Weight Food Co-op. I'm sure any co-op or uh, Whole Foods, whatever, whatever. And my Moringa powder, Moringa, Moringa. Moringa, Moringa powder, whatever. Two teaspoons. I don't even know where a teaspoon is. I have to find one. And of course, my almond butter that I love to put in. I like 100% ground almond butter. Oh, everything is have a green afterglow. What in the world? <laughs> That's interesting. Whatever. I guess the lights of computers. Me and my rotund stuff. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. And I just noticed. Uh, wow, I got powder all over my um bottom here. Oh, gee. <laughs> Hopefully, you don't see that. I saw it just now, so that's nice. And I have this thing from Walmart, acai, acai, whatever, super fruit or whatever, guarana, guarana, antioxidant, super fruit with guarana. I don't even know how to pronounce guarana, whatever that is. But it's, um, they didn't have the Target version. Target had this one. like targets sam basm whatever the uh, organic blend of a kyber and guarana oh i guess they like that combo batter a kai cyber and guarana i guess that's always a combo package whatever 
So like this frozen thing here, it's like you're supposed to pour water on it and kind of like warm it up or whatever. So, so be it. I'm gonna do that. I've been making these initially with um hey. oh, here it is. <laughs> My spoon. I've been making these initially with almond milk, but I think because I'm now using cherry berry with kale. At first I was just using strawberry, blueberry, raspberry. You know, like a bunch of berries, but didn't have kale in it. But I ran out of those. I think they did. Um, well, I got a new bag because I was running low. Uh, somehow, this needs a bit more. Um, it needs more acid or acidity. The other one with the almond milk and banana, peanut almond butter was fine. But now that I added the Sakai and the Maca Extreme and stuff, it kind of, I think that's more than enough this time. The last time I added a bit and whatever. So I add this much, whatever that is. I don't know. I don't really measure. And every time I do it, it comes out like a sherbet instead of smoothie. Water still going, warming up this Akai and Wabata. I doubt too many people look at the video, and if you do and you see it, you can pronounce higher as Paula. Oh what in the hell is. Oh, that's why. Stupid thing. I have the opening. No wonder it's spewing out. I try to blend up the hard strawberries and everything. So I guess it shows you with any blender, even a, you know, when it's like 15, 17 and $20, you can make yummy smoothies. So this is the kale, strawberry, blueberry, cherry combo package here from Walmart. Cause I went to Walmart instead of Target this time, whatever, same difference. And my yummy almond butter. I like eating almond butter with apple and like, uh, Pear as well, like raw pear and raw apple with almond butter, super yummy. I don't, and I, I like it kind of smooth, and I don't like it, you know, you know, basically toast, roasted almonds, ground. I don't want no nasty, disgusting sugar and other nasty stuff. I mean, I don't want all that. Just give me my almond butter, plain, no extra stupidness. I don't know if I'll add a banana this time. A lot of times I add a banana. And here's some pineapple I'll add. I need as much acidity as I can get. Fine, I'll just make some more. Hey. From concentrate. 
basic frozen juice from Concentrate. Best kind. Convenient and so forth. So you like, you know, defrost this stuff. And then whatever. Then you cut it open and you throw it in. Very easy. Do it yourself. Quick, convenient. For people like me who don't have all day. I think what happened the last time is... Yeah, I didn't read the directions. <sighs> it says a half a teaspoon. Uh, yeah, I added this size. What is this? Two tablespoons? I don't know what size spoon this is, but I kind of added a spoonful of each because I didn't bother to read the directions. So that's probably why I kind of came out a little difficult flavor. It was fine, but I wasn't happy with it. And I always are very happy with my smoothies. I like the way I make my smoothies, and I like the way I make my own guacamole, and I like my pico de gallo the best, and I like my guacamole the best, and I like my smoothies the best, because I can add all the ingredients I want. I don't have to charge myself anything extra for adding, you know, almond butter or maca powder or turmeric or something. I never carry like the measuring stuff, so this one has to be good enough. Two teaspoons. I guess this is a teaspoon. I don't know. Looks like about a teaspoon. This is about a teaspoon. I don't measure. <laughs> so that's hopefully the. Oh, wow. Oh, God. It smells like grass. Like somebody just cut the grass. A half a teaspoon. Oh, that's about right, I guess. Of course not. I don't know. Good enough. I don't need to add any vitamin C powder or sorbic acid because the orange juice is overflowing with that. <sighs> um, from the same health food store, I buy a sorbic acid in bulk. These, you know, so I have some more sorbic acid here and garlic powder and smoked paprika, cayenne. What is this? Oh, I have some of these too. Cardamom. How about some cardamom? <laughs> I didn't know how there's a fresh cardamom in here. I don't need to open up the cardamom, but I have some cardamom in that little thing. A couple of seeds of cardamom. Can't go wrong with cardamom. It's always a nice little... Now, nutmeg is a bit more strong, so you have to add very sparingly, but I didn't add too much cardamom. So this is fresh, you know. Just very little. Uh, maybe I better add a bit more orange juice. Clean this thing off. Off I go. Smoothie residue can get quite stubborn, so I always wash it right away. 
If you don't wash peanut butter and smoothie leftover, look, it's still the size. This is ridiculous. It always comes out like, oh my God. See, it comes out like ice cream. Why? I don't know. Ugh. But it's good. I don't know why it always comes out like sherbet. Whatever. So it's never a smoothie. I guess I need to add more liquid, obviously. Whatever. Mm. Whatever. I guess I can, you know, it'll work. Miami smoothie, but not petite.